here's what I think is happening with Blue Lock right now and why the most recent episode of Nagi and Rail scenes were actually animated and relatively good to the other episodes. Some people think that Nagi asked his sugar daddy. He was like, Dad, I know I ran away and stuff, but I need you to fund 8-Bit Studios and Bandai Namco because goddamn, they ain't doing shit. They broke. Maybe that happened. What I actually... Sorry, Rayo did that. Now, what I think might have actually happened... So, there's a movie, right? There's a Na there's a Nagi and Rayo movie that they probably wanted to promote. The most recent episode was Nagi and Rayo, and Rayo really did pop off. Maybe they tried to just, like, prioritize this episode a little bit more. Because their goal was to think, if we give them a good experience with Rayo and shit, that people are going to, like, go watch the movie and stuff. I don't know. I honestly think that they should have focused on Rin, Shido, and everything else. I don't think much people really care about Rayo, to be honest. Like, no offense, guys. No offense to the fucking seven Rayo Glazers out there. But you can't fucking tell me that Rayo is your GOAT. And, like, everyone else, you know, the mo more hyped-up characters. Like, do you really think that the average person watching this is gonna glaze Rayo? His chameleon thing was sick. His entire thing is like jack of all trades and his whole strategy is, you know, copying others. He doesn't have his own signature thing, but he's really good at everything to the point that he can mimic and maybe the mimic can be pretty helpful in a team. He does score a goal, so he's found his own way to survive. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction, though. <laughs> Yo, they off screen Baro and Bachira? The fuck? Alright, Shiro got another goal. Bachara got two. Shiro got three. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm reading this right. One, two, three, four. No, no, these are the goal counts. It's not the amount of goals, but each person got a goal here. Shiro got two goals then. Cool. Baro got one goal. Karasu got two. I don't know who Otoya, I think, is the ninja guy. Cool, cool. Bachara gets twice. Two tries though, right? They're still beefing. Yo. <laughs> Oh fuck, he just gripping his face, bro. Still scored. And like the funniest shit right now is that Team A, they're not focused on getting the goals. Shiro and Rin are trying to sabotage each other and they're still getting these goals. Imagine if they were working on harmony, that would be crazy. Oh shit, he- you a right hook, bro. <laughs> Kill? Okay, you can't say that. That is just objectively wrong. Shido is godlike talent. Bro is doing like formless kicks in the penalty box. If it's in the box, he'll figure out a way to score. Oh shit. Shido better confirm. <laughs> Yo, Blue Lock jerseys had tasers on it? I didn't even fucking know. Also, it's funny to me that Egoist literally let this fight happen first. The, the knee here was kind of fraudulent. Like, let's look. Like, I can see it. He already fucking landed it. And he's already back. And I've only seen the impact of it. But Shiro better fighter than Ren confirm. Damn, he got cooked. Anti-riot measure. My... I don't... Like, the lineup... The only person that I really care about, like, is Temple Monk. Like, I want to know if he's actually going to make it or not. Yo, look at them grippers. Oh! Kakabaru! Wait, 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 who's he picking? Also, his diet is so fucking bad. All he does is just drink energy drinks, coffee, and instant ramen, bro. Like, this type of build is, it's, it's like, you're not gonna make it past 40, bro. Do you wish to remove the selected players? Kagamaru, no! Wait, what does it mean? Are you, are you talking that everyone on this list is gonna get removed? Do you wish to remove the selected players in your roster? I don't know what's selected here, right? I, I don't know. There's like shades, different colors. I hope Gagano makes it in. Keep it simple. Execs? Who was calling there? Japan Football Union. Yeah, it's the boomers. I mean, Rin's brother literally shit on the execs last episode. 
Correction room? <laughs> Wait, they have like a detention fucking room? Bad. How is it getting corrected right now? Is it like solitary like confinement? I want Bottle to make it. Will Rayo make it? Honestly, if Rayo doesn't make it, I will be shocked. At the amount of dev like uh, development they invested into Rayo last episode, the fact that they have a fucking movie with Nagi Rayo, and because Nagi Rayo shit people love, like there's no way he doesn't make it on. Isagi will be chosen. Will he be main roster? Who knows? But like he'll be chosen. He always says that. Damn. It is. First episode, he was actually in person. Ever since then, he's been behind the screen. Finally shows up, yeah. It's been like two years for us. <laughs> like, whose ass is that? Oh, it's Hyori? The second most breedable character is right behind Chigiri? I see you. I see you. Yeah, Ego's wearing Crocs too. <laughs> Ego wearing Crocs. <laughs> Let's go. Hype. Rin. Damn. So like Shido, even though he seems to be... I, I don't know. I, I guess Rin still is the best, right? Rin is still objectively better. Shido second, but... Pretty close. 2.5. Team just for Rin. Hakai Shin Rin. Uh, he is the main character of the show, man. Like, I wonder who the goalie is gonna be. That's. I think the goalie should be Gagamaru. Like, it, it's just kind of ridiculous to think that all these different strikers, you know, would play goalie. But in terms of who would vex fit that role, because of Gagamaru's, like, length, his wingspan, his dive, his jumps, it should be him, right? Gaga! Gaga! Because, like, if not, I don't think he would have made it on the team, right? Like, what else would he really be doing? It just makes sense that Gagamaru would be goalie. Yeah, the jumps, man. And he's chill with it too. Most people would be fucking pissed off, right? Like, give anyone the goal, like goalie role, they'd be pretty fucking mad. But Gakamaru is so chill. He's just like, he's just happy to be part of the group. All right. You made it in. I thought that he'd be the first dude that, like, we, we fought that Nico guy so early on in season one, and I thought he'd just be forgotten afterwards, but like, okay, Mr. Telescope Eye Guy. Yeah. <laughs> he does this thing every time. Side backs. Yeah. He's always running on the line. Wachira. Okay. Um, did he just say Nyaruhodo like a cat? Kind of. I think that Isagi should be just midfield, right? He should be playmaker, vision, right? Just setting stuff up. He should be midfield. Okay. Yo, Isagi? Isagi? Bro, <laughs> It's funny because he shits on Isagi so much. You fucking Mr. Average, weakest link. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, Karas to take him midfield. Well, there can be more than one midfield, right? Oh, man. Mr. Hands. All right. Did he just call Ego dumb? I feel like he should just fucking do a shock collar. If I was Ego after hearing that, I just pressed the fucking button again. Okay. Isagi, ninja. I don't think Isagi is making it on the main roster. I don't think he's kidding. I, I think that he's gonna be bench player. I think he's gonna be like a role player, bro. Like when injuries happen, or just, like, yeah, not everyone can just play the full match either, right? I don't know if everyone's good for stamina, but like injuries, you know, yellow red cards, you know, anytime stuff like that happens, we do need like bench to come in and play, but 
not looking too good for a main character. Ninja. That's right, Mr. 1v1. Shido. Shido and someone else. Nagi and Shido. That means that Baro's not even gonna make it onto the fucking team either. Holy shit. Baro and Isagi, they were both donkeys, man. Nagi and Shido, it should be it. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Even though there's one more slot, and I think that it should be Shido, Shido doesn't really get along with Rin, though. And, like, Ego just said, sometimes, too many cooks in the kitchen. We need to focus on a team made for Rin. Shido doesn't really synergize with Rin, therefore, the last spot may not be him. Okay. Isagi? 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 It's gotta be. Yeah. Okay, he made it on the team. Bro. I really thought it was gonna be Shido, but no. Like frontline too. I thought that if anything, like um, he's an offensive midfielder, right? That that's his position. I I thought that like looking at the different you know um pieces on the on the board, I thought that maybe Isagi would position right in the middle for Karasu, right? Because he has such great vision and placement for everything. But all right, so Shido really just, huh? Like number two is gone. No monk. No Shido, no fucking Baro. There's so many good players just gone. But like, what if they have team A and team B? There's definitely gonna be subs. Yeah, Rayo as well, right? Like, like I think that like, we're gonna have subs that's gonna be very formidable. Like maybe the, it'll be kind of like low key, like team A, team B. I, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see about this shit. Isagi, let's go. Yori and Anase ain't making it in. Nice. Bururoku Eleven. That's actually really hype. That's genuinely super hype. And yeah, he's the main character. Of course, he should make it in. But the way that he's portrayed, there's a lot of better people. But like, I'd be fucking hyped too. Bururoku Regular. Yeah. Okay, okay Nanase, don't even fuck. Okay. I don't even know what your ass did in the- in, uh, Did we even see him fucking play, bro? Did, did we even see this dude play? I don't fucking know, but Nanase, don't you dare give me that look. You can't fucking tell me you actually thought you had a chance getting in, bro. Definitely Hyori would have been, in, you know, in place before you, and Hyori didn't even make it. Borrow man. Borrow man. But I think that, like, couldn't we make another team center around Shido, though? And I don't know how many subs are allowed, but there's a lot of strong pieces just left behind for U20. Donkey man. Too many cooks in the chef. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Shido is literally ranked two. But if we put him in there, it kind of like the team more, right? It just kind of falls apart because we're piecing it around Rin. It'd be cool if there was a separate team that just like formulates around Shido though. Number two, this year, man. He's sick, man. Yeah, ego. True egoist. Yeah. <laughs> to throw a punch like that. <laughs> a knee. <laughs> no, no, it ran through the punch, but we fucking. Wait, who tried to hit who first? You didn't run? Yo, no, 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 Rin fucking swung first, and then Shido actually made contact. Yo, fried, fried. Shido in the first episode? Yeah. Plus, Shido also had his hands all over Rin, which provoked that punch. I just, I just hope that there's something else that we can do with Shido and the other really powerful pieces around, you know, that's being left out. <laughs> <laughs> he is the most egoist. Dude, that's fucking crazy. None of them can literally just work with them. He's just too fucking selfish. But like, then he's the pinnacle of Blue Lock. 
It's a skill issue for everyone around them. What the fuck? Why is Shido getting punished for being the definition, the epitome of what Blue Lock should be? <laughs> skill issue, man. <laughs> Actual skill issue, bro. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, wild card. All right, this is more fun. Wild cards are way more fucking exciting, man. Was. The electric shock collar was not calibrated, and it was actually on the level of tranquilizing an elephant, and now he has died. <laughs> don't tell anyone outside. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know that, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. The correction room? <laughs> We're just trying to do some fucking paperwork right now, too, you know? Fake his death. Oh, shit. What happened, bro? The execs. And the condition is. Okay. Play with my bro. <laughs> Animal lecture shit, bro. <laughs> she, she, this soccer can't be this serious. <laughs> it can't be this fucking serious, bro. Why is he strapped up like this? He ain't animal lecture. Oh fuck, this is hilarious, bro. You good? Three hours earlier. What was the proposed? So Come on, let me go, bro. I promise I won't hit anybody. <laughs> like a second later, I'll fucking kill you! Oh, oh. Sai! They know each other. They don't? <laughs> what is this? Every footstep has aura coming out. Is he gonna recruit Shido? Is Shido gonna play against us? What, what is the implication here? The cage is too small, bro. What do you mean? Are you recruiting him? <laughs> Yo, the aura! <laughs> what you here to do, man? Look at the aura, dude! <laughs> and the condition is... <laughs> oh! We gotta do a chemical reaction. Shido, bro. Shido and Sai. And like... The, f the thing that's gonna hurt Rin even more is that... You know, this is this arc is pretty much centered around Rin's obsession with Big Bro, right? How could you have left me all this shit? And like, if the person that he doesn't get along with the most is suddenly teaming up with this Big Bro to clash against Blue Lock Eleven, like, <laughs> let's go! This is even more fun. Shiro goaded. I'm so happy for him, man. <laughs> you really had to say that. Bro, you big bro chose the dude that you hate the most instead of you. How do you feel about that, Rin? Hmm? How do you feel right now? Cucked. Cucked. <laughs> big bro, how could you? <laughs> Two weeks left. Alright, order to swim boot camp. We just gotta win, man. It's pretty composed. Alright. <laughs> I wish Kanas sniffed snuck in a line here. Wait, wait. I ain't average enough for that to scare me. I wish Kanas just like snuck in. Like, I ain't average enough for that to scare me, but Isagi might be. Ooh. The aura from Nagi. Ego aura. Just to win. To be the number one striker. Yep. Yo, why my boy Gagamoto not getting monologues? They left out Chigiri. And, you know, fucking Gagamoto monologues. Where's their auras, man? Alright. Meeting room. Oh, you 20. Here we go. And the guy at the very back, right? This dude with the green hair. This guy is supposed to be fucking next level. Also, what the fuck is his haircut, bro? This dude looking like Garo from One Punch Man from behind. Manager. Shido Ryusei. And? And? Yeah. So, like... His title, New Gen World's Best Eleven. U20 in Japan is OP, but Sai is on a national scale. 
And the fact that Shido is being brought in by New Gen's world's best 11 kind of proves that Shido low key is on that world scale. Maybe it's so volatile, right? But like clearly, if Sai picked him, I wonder. Maybe like he picked Shido intentionally to not necessarily because of his skills, but to rile up Rin. You know, it's like, little brother, you lack hatred. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the dude that you hate the most to make you fucking jealous so that you're gonna get more mad and surpass me. Like, like is that the thought process that Sai is going through? Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they're talking shit. Y'all should be grateful that I'm even here. The fact that you're even breathing the same oxygen as me in this room. This is a chance of a lifetime. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, talk about first impressions. Yeah? Oh, starting forward, bro. <laughs> It'd be so funny. And uh, we have some roster changes. Uh, uh, the regular forward is actually gonna go to uh, Itoshi Sai, your bench. That would be so cucked. うん。国内で得点を争いして代表入りして5000万ぐらい結婚してしよう。That's a that's a U20. Wait, wait, wait. Is this this isn't U20, right? What is he saying? You compete? You know, so you tell me U20 salary is this? Or is he saying like this is the trajectory that you're gonna go if you stay in Japan? Because like under 20 annual salary, like one year, it's not U20. This is like beyond. If you stayed on the U20 course and like I, I don't know, but that's a lot of fucking money, man. $326,000 United States. But that money, like, really high-paying fields, like, in tech, right? Or, like, finance. Like, sa like for sure, like, 200k salary, it's hard to get, but it's definitely possible. Upwards to, like, 500k, you, you, you gotta be, like, staff fucking engineer, like, director level. You gotta be really high up there, but that is... That's fucking a lot of money, man. That's guts a lot. Mbappe gets 50 million US. Yeah, yeah, but, like, that's, like, at the world's peak, right? Like, messy, like, people, like... I mean, shit, XQC got a hundred million dollar USD contract. That, that's some like literal like sports figures. But then again, a lot of that I think was in like equity, not actually real cash. But yeah, like there's a lot of money in soccer. Even like it's the most in the world, right? Compared to even like NBA, baseball. I'm not sure what the numbers really are, but I heard that soccer numbers, like the money that you can make is on a different scale. That's that up. That's a pretty good life. Well, that damn. Number one. Yo. <laughs> Just immediately starts dumping. Yo, Shiro is like. Sai is like attack dog now. This is the first impressions, by the way, after he got punished for being fucking violent. But like. So what, Sai like, she don't like respect Sai so much. He like, how dare you speak bad of him. <laughs> Damn. He just killed him? Yo, he's knocked out. Maybe he did that because then he could take his place as regular striker. <laughs> like, Shido is thinking on a different level, bro. He's like, I'll just fucking force an injury so that I'll just be regular striker with Sai. <laughs> Oh. That's your star player, man. Ooh. Okay, the green hair guy. This guy should be number one, right? I can't believe, you know, the other dude is a star player. Y'all were glazing this dude in the trailers. I thought that this dude would be the star player. Oh. I was 
Okay. This feels like Captain Aura. Defense line. So, based on the way that the character designs are set, it's looking like the people at the front half of the field are kind of like trash in U20, right? But the back line is very competent. And with Shido inside, that's going to be basically like the U20. So defensive, it's going to be the original U20s. And then the front, it's going to be Shido, Sai with a lot of, so with some other star strikers too. Now this guy, straight up, this guy with the beady eyes just looks like Garo from One Punch Man. Neru Tepe. Oliver Aiku. Yo, what's this thing? Built around their tall defender Aiku, who's gotten other offers from Italy, Syria. Oh, so he, he could be world states too. So he's like, U20 is built around this defensive style around him. Damn. He played keeper. Aiku plays at the center back and the Japan team dot dot. He has roots in Sweden, Germany, and Japan. As in like, he's got hybrid blood. That's why... Even though he's like under U20, he, 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 he looks way older, right? His physique and leadership skills are second to none amongst his peers. He's one of the most notable players who will be the next generation's dot dot dot. Series A Italy. Uh, he used to be keeper though, goalkeeper. Mm. True. Like, this is the average, like, U20 Japanese kid. And then Oliver is like the average, like, <laughs> You guys, you're like, what? You look way older. <laughs> All these Japanese kids, they, they look way too youthful. Every one of them are just fucking femboys and just fucking husbandos. And then there's Oliver with actual fucking like facial hair and shit. Man, it's true though, Bachida's right. Just win. It's true, just win. It's that easy. Just win. Yeah, I don't think he can do it again. How does he do it on command? Who knows? Are we working out? Leg press. Nah, bro's worked up. Okay. This is a crazy sibling issues, man. Like, holy shit, he needs to see a therapist for this. Yup. Aww. Come on, take it, bro. Wow, he admits. Okay. They got a good dynamic. I like him. <laughs> Lukewarm water. That's so BM. Maybe he did on purpose. He was mad, mad. Hey, we meet again in person. Flow. Hey, that's the episode title. Flow. The fuck? Flow? Are we gonna like do some lecturing to unlock our hidden brain power? Yeah, have you ever played sports where you have these moments and maybe it's a bit cringe to compare it to like the zone that you see in sports animes where everything just makes sense. You're in the heat of the moment, you've practiced so much, you played in sports so much that there's these specific moments where you just feel like you're Gojo floating in the air laughing saying, I alone am the honored one. That kind of state is really hard to get in, but if you could do it on command, it would be amazing, right? Mm. Waku waku, baby. Furu. <laughs> Why is Baro and the rest of them still here? I thought they kicked them out. No, there's more to Blue Lock than just the U20, right? I wonder what Baro thinking. Like, this fucking sucks. I don't even get to play. I hope he gets to be a sub, though. But Ego hasn't mentioned any subs just yet. Other than Shiro being like the Joker wild card who can't even play for us anymore. I bet they're keeping that shit hidden. Like, who knows who's gonna, you know, join in on later. Yeah, that's flow. That's flow. Yeah. Concentrate on the challenge. 
Optimal difficult. Challenge yourself. <laughs> Damn, a straight up whole graph to represent this. So the x axis is your ability from low to high. Difficulty, the challenge is the y axis. And of course, if you're shit and you try to do too hard stuff, it becomes anxiety. But if you're too good and your challenge is too bad, then there is nothing, you know, it's boring. The optimal middle spot is to engage in these challenges according to your skill level, where the more that you're able to adequately hit your goals, the more excited you get, the more inspired, the more happy you get into this like state of like euphoria. That's flow. True? Then you just get too depressed. You gotta hit that optimal spot. Exactly. You need to feel like emotionally engaged with something. The more happy, the more excited, the more you, like you feel yourself that you feel like you can do this, right? That's how you get into the like flow state where everything just like makes sense. <laughs> There is a bit of science involved in it, yeah. I wonder, like, if this is gonna unlock, like, a new mode for everyone. Because, like, we saw Isagi, you know, have this crazy aura as he surpassed Boshiro and Rin in that one instance. But every other character, they might have their own flow moments, you know? Like, it's their own, like... Like the zone, like they get super new aura, like a new, like physical effect. Yeah. It's the realm of the gods, bro. Mm. That's why you gotta lock in, boys and girls. Say no to everything else. Sacrifice everything, right? No more TikTok. The fact that you're even watching me right now proves that you can never be in flow. You need to just focus on one specific thing and obsess about it, or else too much distractions is GG. Is that borrow? I don't know if this is supposed to be borrow or not. Yeah. Yeah, this is like little babies watching fucking Coco Melon, dude. This ain't fucking flow. Mm -hmm. It looks like Baro's face, man. Ego aura. Why is this so cool? He is the only person that has glasses and a fucking bowl cut that can just exude this much aura, man. It's crazy how good he is. Look at that jawline, bro. That's right. Obsess after one thing only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 honestly like a confidence building thing too. The more that you achieve these goals, the more you believe in yourself. Confidence can kind of be faked, but at a certain point you need to have actual things that you accomplish that you believe in yourself in. And then it's like a momentum thing. It's like, I've done this, I can do something else. That's why it's so important to have small goals that you can achieve, that you can incrementally cascade to get to that huge goal. A lot of people, again, they choose such an arduous, impossible goal thinking that they're on the grind, but that's pointless. You're going to fail immediately. You got to have like small goals that you keep winning. You feel yourself, you feel proud of yourself. And then at a certain point, you'll be just doing crazy shit like Itoshi Sai because like, he himself has gotten that place by proving himself over and over again. Oh. Or is it right in the sweet spot? Isagi is locked in, man. You know why Ego loves Isagi so much? Because Isagi is the only one actually listening to this lecture and he's fucking engaged. He's the most active fucking listener. Like, Ego like talks something, he's like <gasps> Everyone else is just <laughs> The only thing is like he's a perspective He's like, oh, oh my god, this, this, this lecture is crazy, guy Yeah, you gotta open it yourself, man 
フロー Let's go そのオーブは俺のフローにたどり着くさあ Let's go boys ブルーロックイレブン,レブン世界は待っている見つけ出すんだできる They're really hyping up Isagi man Is there a post credit scene? It's gotta be right It's gotta be right Oh, there's a little bit of additional time. Let's cut additional time. Under 20 cents, I'm in your letter. Nico, I guess. Yo, she be men, though she communicates. Yo, she could. Oh, I don't know what's on the road. Oh, she got come out of kind of looks like a fucking ape right now, just hanging on that fucking goal post. Keep on. How's your method? She didn't know the question. Like, imagine he plays goalkeeper by just doing this rather than being on the ground. He's gonna be acting like King Kong, just fucking. Bar grabbing stuff like that and just kicking with his legs because he doesn't know how to, how to use his fucking hands to save gold. Gram. Yes, sir. Hey, yo. yo, where that face at? <laughs> He's straight up a mountain kid. He's like the so pure, innocent, just Giga Chad. He's a caveman, bro. Are you sumo wrestling your bear friend? You also play Smash Bros, man. And you also looks like you have. Gakamaru is so interesting. What the fuck does that mean, bro? <laughs> That's just straight up a fucking shampoo commercial, man. You're in the wrong industry. Nico, so open minded. Alright. What you mean, my man? Grum! Mountain Man is his new name. Everyone's glamming now. They're just basically doing JoJo poses, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah. Who would be fun? How did Gakamoto get in the top of the fucking goalpost this time? What the hell? Like, what would be a character that you could never see doing this? Maybe Rin, right? <gasps> or like Ego. Imagine Ego and Rin doing this, bro. They're in sync, man. I'm glad that the defensive line are all in sync right now. Their hearts are one, and I'm sure that... We can leave it to them to protect against Sai and Shiro, right? That's today's episode and another episode where it's just so stupid hype, yet nothing, you know, no actual soccer matches are happening because, you know, you, they can really obfuscate and hide their lack of animation. The fight scenes were a little bit wonky, but today's episode was very, very hype. Blue Lock is just straight up just super hype. It's sad to see other characters like Baro, you know, get left behind because we know how competent they are, but you gotta play around with the centerpiece, which is Rin, and try to figure out who can work synergistically the best with them. Shiro is so good that no one can work with them, but there is one person, Sai. Maybe he actually can. U20? Low-key, U20, their representation today looks really weak. And I'm probably going to um, be wrong in the future because obviously they're trying to impose Rin and, uh, sorry, Sai and Shido into this new lineup. So of course, U20 in the beginning has to look kind of bad, but Oliver and the rest of the defensive back, right? Then they exuded a lot of aura. So I'm sure they're going to be like very competent, but this doesn't really seem impossible to me. Rin is the, you know, basically the main character right now. Isaki is being a nice role team player and Egoist's definition, scientifically, to describe the flow state is pretty cool. I never really thought about having like an optimal goal state. To me, the flow state is whenever you're just kind of like in the heat of the moment and things just align and because you've done things so many times over and over again, it becomes and like an autonomous, like a, like a reflex, so I don't have to manually think about it. And then the stars align and you get into this state of euphoria where you're so happy and excited. You feel like you can't fail. I'm sure everybody has felt that at least once in their lifetime doing anything, right? So it's cool to see. It's looking like everyone's gonna unlock new flow states. And that's pretty much it. I know the trailers are out, so we're gonna check out the trailers immediately after this for the U20 ship, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. I don't think it's time. Take care.